Did you see Game of Thrones this week? Uh, does Jon Snow make my kitten purr? Spoiler alert, yes. <laughs> Honey, I'm about to break out that wrestling because the filler episodes are back. Oh my God. At the beginning, Jon Snow is giving me full on Beach Boy realness, catching all the waves en route to Key Westeros. And then he sees his old college pal Munch Munch, who is still calling him his nickname from college. The bastard of Winterfell, the dwarf of Casterly Rock. Christina tries to appeal to Jon Snow by reciting her favorite Tori Amos lyrics. I shamed and betrayed, raped, and defiled. Back at King's Landing, Jared let himself go had some real talk with Brother D. Does she like it gentle or rough? A finger in the bum. So most people would think it'd be really awkward to ask someone how to fuck your sister, but he breezes right on through it. You know what? Mm -hmm. I'm really into that part right up until the butthole shaming. Every booty hole is deserving of love. And honey, mm -hmm. the irony of vintage Mia Farrow killing her Kardashian ass with a poison lip kit, not lost on me for a minute. No. And nothing gets a vintage Mia Farrow hotter than unhealthily processing her grief. She opens those big, fat murder lips and smothers the D of Brother D. This is making me hot. It's Fuckwatch 2017, Incest is Best Edition. Mm -hmm. Christina Aguilera, she's like, I got some dragon glass. Bama also gave you some dragon ass. You'd better get to work, Jon Snow. And meanwhile, Sansa Fierce is doing her best Anna Wintour Devil Wears Wolf quality control stroll. Are they covering those breastplates in leather? No, my lady. Shouldn't they be? Oh, and by the way, the brooch count was out of control this week. Brooch, 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 brooch. And then out of nowhere, baby Miss Cleo is back from college, and honey, he was tripping balls on that ayahuasca. He learned the most. In the three eyed raven, it means I can see everything. It's all pieces now. When the long night comes again, I need to be ready. I don't know what that means. Then, baby Barack Obama leads an army of Shredder cosplayers in Operation Shawshank Deception. Through 500 yards of shit-smelling foulness I can't even imagine. Only to find out that the rest of his troops have full-on been dunkirked by Jared let himself go. You know, and then ultimately at the end, we've got high guard Maggie Smith. She's doing the most in her grandma den, listening to her end-of-life care options under Trump care. Whipping you through the streets and beheading you in front of the Red Keep playing you alive and hanging you from the walls of King's Landing. But before she dies, she's reclaiming her time. Your sister, she's a disease. I'd hate to die like your son, clawing at my neck. He really was a cunt, wasn't he? Tell Sassy, I wanted to know it was me. That girl is Oh, girl, you better fuck me with this blow dry, giving me Melisandre realness. I'm gonna fuck someone with this hair. Where are my dragons? 